Hi folks, this is Dr. Don and I have a problem from McClave chapter 11 on regression. And it's a simple problem. It's a basic problem. I have to say I'm almost embarrassed to see it in a graduate statistics course, but they're there and they can be real time wasters on quizzes and exams if you try to use algebra to solve these things. And unfortunately, StatCrunch will not give you answers in fractions. It gives you answers in decimals. But it will very quickly give you the slope and intercept. So let's do that. Okay, I brought up StatCrunch. I'm going to label this first column my X's, second column my Y's. And let's put the first points in there. 5, 5, 10, 10. Okay, I've got my X's and Y's. I'm just going to go to graph. We want a scatter plot. And we get the dialog there. We select our X variable, our Y variable. And the trick here is that we want to overlay, it says a polynomial order, but really that's just the equation of the line. And we want the type 1 and click on best fit. And we just click compute. And so we get a plot there that shows our two points. I don't see the equation, but if I hover over it with my cursor, there I can get my y-intercept, 0 in this case, and my slope, which is 1 in this case. So that's our answers to this first one. Let's go back here to the second. And I'm going to put in 0, 13. Whoops. And then 13, 0. All I have to do is go to Options, Edit, Compute. And it recomputes again. There's my uh, slope, I mean my uh, diagram. And if I hover my cursor, the plus over the line, I will get my intercept of 13 and my slope of minus 1. So let's do another one. And it is minus 4, 8, 7, 12, options, edit, compute, bring it over again, and I'm going to hover, get close there, there we go, oh my goodness, 9.4545455555 is the intercept, and the slope is 0.36363636. Uh-oh, over here in StatCrunch, they wanted it in integers or simplified fractions. Tell you what, folks, on my work, if you divide 4 by 11, you will get 0 0.36, 0 0.36, 36, 36, 36, and if you do the math, 104 divided by 11 is 9.4545. So if you give me the decimal answers, I will give you credit. But let's do one more. Minus 3, minus 5, 4, 10, options, edit, compute. I've got my line again, and if we hover, we get a y-intercept of 1.428, which I'm pretty sure if you divide 10 by 7, that's what you will get. And my slope is 2.143, which again is 15 divided by 7. So I will give you credit for that, and I think most instructors would you give you credit if you give them the answers in decimals instead of fractions. So I hope this helps.